it's time to get extreme. Today on the Candy Isle, welcome everyone for another review. Uh, my name is Jeff, and today we have a review of Sweet Tarts Extreme Chewy Sour. Wait, is that it? No, it's ex Sweet Tarts Extreme Sour Chewy. Yup, that's, that's the right one. <laughs> um, it's Extremely Sour Sweet Tarts, guys. How could you possibly go wrong? In fact, I reviewed the Sweet Tarts uh, Chewy Sours um, back in 2017. And what looks to me like what has happened is that that product has has ended its life as Sweet Tarts moves into new territory with things like rope gummies and things like that. Um, and now this is the sour, chewy that sweet tart that's available now i don't know if it technically is just the same sweet tart chewy sours that i did review back in 2017 um but because it says extreme um and knowing the way the wonka company works i think that this may mean that it is bigger um it's you know it's more sour than what i had reviewed before i wish i had obviously like a side by side i could check them out but i cannot anyway i saw this and i thought oh i, I should i should you know I want to try it. <laughs> um, I don't get sweet tarts that often, but like they're good. They're totally good. Uh, I did just watch the video from my <laughs> previous review and I did note that it was already, I thought, a little too sour potentially for what it was. Um, but sweet tarts, you know, like that's okay. Some people really, really love sour and, you know, and I, I dig it when it's done well, like especially, um, the kind of sour sweet combination that you get with things like uh sour patch kids which are kind of like the you know the cream of the crop right the best um let's see what we get here with sweet tarts oh sorry is there anything else you want to see on the packaging here extreme chewy um like regular sweet tarts this is in a uh here's your uh nutrition um this is in a, uh, mm -hmm. safety warning. Oh, don't feed the kids probably. Uh, this is in a, you know, the long sort of pastel style candies packaging. Um, it is the original sweet tart flavors, just, you know, made extreme. <laughs> so that should be grape, cherry, um, I don't think there's an orange. I think that got discontinued, right? Isn't it grape cherry? Um, like a fruit punch. I'm trying to find the different flavors here. These all look these just look like I've got three flavors and that's it. What happened to green apple? Where's green apple? How do you do a sour? I don't want to open this whole thing, but how do you do a sour thing and not have green apple? This is it's gotta be that's gotta be it, right? Okay, well, obviously <laughs> research has failed me on this one. Uh, oh, there's a blue. There's a blue. Damn it. I'm gonna have to open up this whole thing. <laughs> okay, blue punch. Let's just do it, guys. We're gonna destroy the packaging. There's a green. All right. <sighs> well, there you go. <laughs> uh, we had to rip it all apart. To get at the green. That's too bad. The blue and the green, like, not too many of those in the packaging, clearly. Um, so you've got a cherry and a grape and a blue punch and a green apple. And I don't think it, there's orange. There's supposed to be lemon. Lemon is the other flavor. That's totally it. In, like, traditional sweet tarts. But I don't know. This is a brave new world we've got here. I don't know. Let's uh, Let's give it a try. I don't... I guess I could just keep going and see if, look, there's another green. Maybe it's all greens and blues now. Oh, even it out, right? You guys think that there's a lemon hiding in here? I've got to check. I've got to just check. Just do it. Ah, I lost one. Sorry. All right, forget it. Forget it. There's no lemon in here. I don't know if lemon's supposed to be part of the, part of the flavoring, but there's no lemon here. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, at least we got a few more greens and blues in there. But still, it seems like there's a lot more. Um, I guess purple is the most, hey? Let's try this one. I don't think that's lemon. That clearly looks like orange to me. Um, even though they are chewy, they still have like a hard outer shell. 
it's not like a skittle exactly it's just like because it's like a it's like inside it's, it's not a gummy it's just chewy how do i explain it oh man that just like snapped off dang i was not expecting that at all I seem to remember them being a little chewier than that. Boy, though, it, um, don't do that. Just try and eat it regular. Holy cannoli. It was really sour. <laughs> I, oh boy, it was very sour. This is orange. So, I don't know what the official deal with the flavoring is, but I think that's an orange. It's really sour. It's a little hard to tell. This is the kind of thing where you put it in your mouth and it's um, two, three chews and it it's like dissolved away to nothing. It is, it, despite what, you know, how it snapped there, it is not really, like, hard. Like, if you just chew it regular with your molars, you know, um, you'll, you'll get through it easy. Um, but, uh, wow, that's weird. Very sour, like, intense sour. I guess it is extreme, right? But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I still enjoy the flavoring. It's just, uh, it's really, really sour. So take note. Let's try the green apple next. Historically a um, extreme, you know, always like a compliment to the sour flavorings. Personally, I liked the world back when we had lime a little bit better, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay. Hey. You know what I taste there? Some tartness. <laughs> Pretty apropos for a sweet tart. Weirdly, that didn't taste anywhere near as sour. Or maybe I was just expecting it because of green apple, you know, because of the previous one, and because green apple as a natural flavor really complements sour. That was good. Like, surprisingly good. Let's try the uh, grape. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. That is a sour grape. Very unwine-like. <laughs> um, not really a huge fan. I think that these are pretty well put together. Other than... Well, I mean, I guess if you were looking for a specific flavor, you might be, you know, in trouble while you're opening the packaging. And in a situation like this, you really want a blue and it's at the bottom of the package. But probably you just take it out and you eat some. And that's that, right? Reb, cherry. Whew. Oh, man. <clears throat> Again. Like the orange, too sour. It is. It's just too sour, guys. I know you might be a, a huge sour, you know, fanatic. I feel like this is a little too sour. Um, yes, the whole thing is done with in a few seconds, in a few chews. But... Uh, but yeah, it uh, it's very sour and very intense for those few seconds. And I don't feel like, at least I didn't say this in my last review of the other version of this. Like, uh, I don't feel like there's like a sweetness afterwards. It's just like straight sour. The chew is actually pretty nice. Um, I mean, maybe it could be a little softer, but... I, I think that the, the the texture, packaging, the sort of like presentation of this is good. You know, I like these colors. 
Uh, I get the idea behind the flavoring. I just think especially that orange and the cherry really did not did not do well with the sour. Let's see if the blue punch does better. Ah, man. Oh, yeah, I get it, but I don't think that flavor suits sour. Okay, weirdly, I'm going to try another one. I think green apple is the best here. I don't know if I've ever said that on a review before. Green apple is my, my favorite flavor. But I think it is here. I do. I like how these look. They're kind of like, almost like marbled or something, right? The way the coloring does. It's kind of cool. Anyway. Hmm. They're kind of like chew -its. You ever have a chew -it? Or like, is it Razzles? Is Razzles it? The one? It's almost like in another world, these could be like, you chew them into gum and they turn into gum. But they don't. You just chew them and then they dissolve in your mouth. Huh. Well. Um, I think these are okay. I, I think they're okay. I do. I think if you're a sour fan, you should try these. But for my money, I think they're too sour. If you are at all concerned about, like, something could be too much, this is too much. It's too extreme! <laughs> That's my take on it. But I don't know. I mean, look, maybe this is, maybe I'm just, you know, maybe it's too much. Maybe, maybe it's just me. So I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you had these? What's your opinion? Do you agree with me that they're too sour? Um, previously on the other version of the Sweet Tart Chewy Sours, I gave those a four out of five. I'm going to give these a three out of five. I just, I don't think that they really, I don't think that the souring really suits the flavoring. I do love the packaging and presentation. And I do think that there may be a specific audience that really enjoys this, but it is not me. So that's my take. Um, anyway, again, interested to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Please, um, you know, tell me what you think. Happy to hear dissenting opinions anytime. Okay, guys, that is all for today. Um, three out of five for this one. And uh, I'll check in with you next time. So long, everyone. Bye-bye.